Welcome back everyone. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. And today I'm going to be sowing the seeds of the beautiful Christia obcordata or obcordata. It's also known as butterfly, butterfly wing, butterfly stripe and swallowtail plant. It gets its name from the beautiful, delicate, triangular shaped foliage which resembles butterfly wings. It has a really, really striking appearance and I just think that this plant will look amazing nestled in with some of my other plants. This plant is native to Southeast Asia and Brazil and the Christia genus consists of around 18 different species. So I've been looking to add this plant to my collection for around two years, which is quite a long time, and I've yet to find an actual plant for sale here in the UK. And I can imagine because this plant looks so delicate, I don't think it would ship well at all. So I thought I'd have a go at growing the plant from seed myself and filming the process for you. I got my seeds from a seller on Etsy called Butterfly Wing Plants, I believe. I'll link his details below for you in the description box. I purchased 10 seeds, although he sent me 12, which is very nice of him. And I'm so excited to try and grow this plant myself. From looking online, there doesn't appear to be much information about the plant, and there's hardly any videos on YouTube about care for this plant or sowing the seeds. I managed to find a couple of videos from a lady in America that's sowing the seeds, and I had a look at those. But apart from that, I couldn't really find any videos in English. If any of you guys have grown this plant from seed, let me know in the comments below. I've heard it can be a little bit tricky, but we'll see. So apparently if you're living in a warm climate and you're lucky enough to be able to grow this plant outside, it prefers shady conditions as the sun will actually burn the foliage. So it likes a shady position and it likes to stay consistently moist, apparently. So if I'm successful in growing this plant from seed, I plan on keeping it in bright indirect light, warm and humid conditions, and I might try growing the plant in different positions in my home to see which one thrives the most. A couple of them I can put under grow lights, I can put some in the windows, different windows, and maybe even put one in my bio bear. So I'll be experimenting with that and I'll keep you posted. I have read that these plants can be super fussy, so if everything goes to plan, eventually I will actually film a care tips video for you. Fingers crossed that I can grow this plant and make it thrive in my home. I've wanted it for so long and I'm super excited to get these seeds going. So to begin with, I'm just going to try sowing five of the seeds. I'll see how I get on. If everything goes to plan, then I'll sow the rest of them. So I've been soaking my five seeds in room temperature filtered water for around 24 hours and now it's time for the next step. So I'm going to be growing the seeds up in my office underneath my Spider Farmer grow light and originally I was going to be growing them on the top shelf but I don't want to block the light to the bottom shelf so I'm going to be growing them on the bottom. I think they'll get plenty of light down here. I've cleared a bit of a space in the middle there. Also at the moment the grow light's only on a low setting, it's on around number 20 so I can always turn it up if they require a bit more light. So I purchased this heat map from Amazon as the seeds like to be grown in warm temperatures at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit which is around 26.6 degrees Celsius. I also picked up this little propagator from Amazon as well, I think it was about £10. I'll link all the products that I've mentioned in the description box below and also into my Amazon shop. Originally I was just going to use any old takeaway tub but I thought this would be a bit better as it's got a bit more height to it and then it's got the little vent at the top which will provide some good airflow. I'm going to be growing the seeds on some makeup pads to start with. I also picked up this extension lead from Amazon as I've got quite a few things plugged in underneath here and I needed one more socket. So this will come in handy. So as I mentioned before, I've been soaking my seeds in room temperature filtered water for around 24 hours. And now all I'm going to do is transfer them onto some makeup pads, which I have soaked in room temperature filtered water. So they're nice and moist. So all I'm going to do is place one single seed on each of the cotton pads in the center. I'm also going to place a little jar of water in here just to help raise the humidity inside the box. So my plan is to keep these pads moist. I might even add a little bit of water into the bottom of the box. So I'll just keep an eye on them. I can give them a little spray if required or even the condensation that's inside the box might keep them moist. I'll just have to see. 
So for now, there's not much else I can do. Obviously I need to plug in my heat mat. Apparently they can take up to two weeks to germinate, but sometimes longer. So I'll obviously keep you posted and then I'll make another video once they've, or hopefully once they've sprouted. If you don't have any grow lights, you could just put your seeds on a bright windowsill and you may not even need the heat mat depending on where you live. I just thought it might help them help them along a bit quicker. The temperature in this room is usually between 23 and 26 degrees Celsius, so it is quite warm, but I think a bit of extra heat will help them on their way. Once they've started growing and they've got some decent roots on them, my plan is to then transfer them into some teeny tiny plastic pots with drainage holes. Obviously I'll be documenting everything, so that'll be a separate video. Any questions, please feel free to ask, and I'm super excited to update you on the seeds progress. Fingers crossed that they germinate. I am so excited. I've got a seed update for you. We're on day four, and yesterday I noticed that this first seed here has produced some growth. Yesterday it was just the radical, but now it looks like there's a bit of primary root on there. So hopefully the secondary roots will start forming soon. The others haven't started sprouting just yet. So on this first seed, I'm expecting to see a shoot, hopefully in the next 10 days or so, fingers crossed. It's very warm and humid inside this propagation box. I'm quite tempted to get a mini thermometer slash hygrometer so I can actually monitor the conditions. So I've been leaving the heat mat on 24 hours a day, but I've still been switching off the grow lights at night. And my grow lights are on for around 12 hours a day. So I'm really pleased that I purchased this heat mat and it'll also come in handy when I replant my caladium bulbs. It should really speed up the process and I plan on planting them around March time and I'll be filming a video on that process as well. I really wasn't expecting to see anything so soon, so I'm hoping the other seeds follow suit. So far I'm really pleased that I use the cotton pad method and I would definitely recommend it. I've been keeping all the pads moist by adding a little bit of filtered water in here every couple of days and the condensation also drips down to help keep them moist. So as I mentioned I'll create a playlist specifically for this plant on my channel so that you can easily find the seed germination videos, the progress videos and eventually, hopefully, a care tips video if everything goes to plan. So I'm just going to pop the lid back on to keep them nice and toasty. I ended up turning up the grow light to number 40. I just turned it down for the purpose of the video because it was quite bright. But I have been keeping it on number 40. It's really handy having this vent wheel on the top as you can control how much air goes into the propagation box. And obviously it's really good for airflow. I've been keeping them fully open. I'm really pleased with the propagation box, so I would definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you are growing this plant yourself and you've got any good care tips, let us know in the comments below. Take care everyone and I'll see you all soon.